So there is New York City. We are in Brooklyn for Jared Hurd. He has trainer Kay Karoma, an assistant on the U.S. Olympic boxing team, moved his cap from the D.C. area to the Olympic training facility in Colorado Springs. Karoma replaced Ernesto Rodriguez, who had worked with Hurd for 12 years. Francisco Santana with Joseph Jenik, known as Coach Haas, who is his lead trainer. Big moment for Francisco Santana as he tries to change his life in defeat. One, Swift Jared Hurd. An intense face off between the two combatants, all business as they know what is in front of them. For Jared Hurd, he want, you know that he wants to tell the rest of the super welterweight division, hey, look, I am not going anywhere. There is Francisco Santana. No doubt looking to make a big impression here tonight at Barclays Center. So for Francisco Santana, with the kind of wars that he has had, he, this very well might be one of his final opportunities. And there is Swift Jared Hurd as he makes his way into the ring. Big, strong, one of the biggest super welterweights in the division. Arthur Mercanti, a referee in charge. He's been away from the ring since May 11th last year. That is nearly an eight month layoff. How will Jared Hurd respond here tonight against Francisco Santana? Can he make it an early night or will he look to get rounds in? Swift Jared Hurd in action in our co-feature here tonight at Barclays Center. Outstanding crowd in attendance for Jared Hearn. He's faced the world champions in four of his last five recent fights. His fight with Edis Landilada was the 2018 fight of the year. And he announced, heard, that he was going to exercise his rematch clause and fight J-Rock on December 14th. The fight never materialized. Stephen Edwards stated that Hurt pulled out of the fight. He said he was going in a different direction. Hurt says he wasn't settled on a new trainer, so the timing wasn't right. And there is Francisco Santana. Out of Ventura, California, is fought as low as 145. Going up to the super welterweight division, K. Corolla. Brand new camp as well. Swift Jared Hurd in action. Jared Hurd. Party ways with Ernesto Rodriguez, his former trainer. They were together for 12 years. And now let's take a look at our tale of the tape. Santana, four years older, then heard the height and the reach clearly in the favor of the former super welterweight champion of the world. So that is how the numbers shake themselves out. Our co-main event as we get things rolling. We will send it up to a ring announcer. Here is Jimmy Lennon Jr.
Well, fans, from Barclay Center here in Brooklyn, Premier Boxing Champions presents our next attraction in our big night, brought to you by DSG Promotions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime. We're sponsored by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing, and we introduce our judges scoring this bout from ringside. From New Jersey, Larry Hazard, Jr. From New York, Julie Letterman, and also from New York, Kevin Morgan. And introducing our third man to the ring, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Arthur Mercanti. All right, fans, here we go. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled in a super welterweight special attraction. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing camouflage trunks with gold trim, fighting out of Ventura, California. He weighed in at 155 pounds, with a record of 25 wins, seven losses, and one draw, he has 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the respected veteran competitor, introducing Francisco Chia Santana. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner in this 10 round attraction, wearing green trunks with black and white trim, fighting out of and representing Aku Keek. Prince George's County, Maryland. He weighed in at 154 and one half pounds. His record stands at 23 wins, one defeat with 16 wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked the WBA number one contender. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former unified WBA and IBF 154 pound champion of the world, introducing Swift, Jerry. Heard. Once again, here's our referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Arthur Mercanti. Good evening, gentlemen. We went over the rules early in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Good luck to you. Touch gloves. It is our co-main event of the evening. Jared Hurd and Francisco Santana. Hurd looks very big, strong. Curious to see how he adapts under his new trainer. That being Fake Roma. Heard looks very, very big. Gonna jab his way on the inside is Santana. Jared Hurd sticks that jab out. Good stiff jab by Jared Hurd. Curious to see if things get more physical if Hurd will go back to his slugging ways. Good jab, doubling up on the jab is Hurd. Santana. Both men, I mean, or Santana's dry, it appears, may have not gotten a good sweat in in the back, or he could have been in the ring too long before the introductions. Heard as being the likes of Tony Harrison. Also, first onto the scene back in 2015 with an upset victory at the time of Frank Galarza. Be Tony Harrison. Hedged to victory, a split decision victory, 2018 fight of the year over Erislandi Lara. Engaged in a special battle against Julian Williams. Good right hand by Jared Hurd. He no longer lives with his parents. Jared Hurd also a new style hair wise. People compared him to Odell Beckham Jr., wide receiver for the Cleveland Browns. That is now a thing of the past. Come on, come on, come on. 
Yes. Yeah, we will see how long that old Del Beckham Jr. remains as wide receiver for the Browns or if he's going to change scenery much like how Jared Hurd did when it came to his trainers. So far, calculated pressure from Santana. Santana pounded away on Jared Hurd. Hurd bobbing and weaving. Headshot upstairs. Left hook. And that ends the first round. Over here, we try to throw that right hand real high over his gloves. Just throw it through. You got him on the ropes over here. You were trying to reach for it. Just turn that Santana. Beautiful work. Coming off the layup 322 days. But when you're fighting Jared Hurd, get the stool. It's not the best move to come into fighting Jared Hurd on a nearly a year layoff. But when you get the opportunity, you must take advantage of it. Santana was a forest at 47, but this might be a little bit too much for him. However, yet to be seen. A calculated round. I think Jared Hurd is trying to settle into his newfound approach. And a guy like Francisco Santana, that might be the right opponent for him. But Santana's tough, he's durable, he's gritty. There's a left uppercut by Hurd. Hurd is just so much bigger than Santana, and you could just tell the disparity physically. I mean, the shoulders of Hurd, unreal. He probably walked into tonight's fight at about buck 70, maybe 175 after making the uh, weight of 156, that's what this fight was agreed upon. You know that Jason Rosario is watching this one, the new super welterweight champion of the world. Santana chasing him around the ring. There's a sweeping right cross by Santana. Jab by Hurd. There's a left hook by Santana. Hurd sticking out that jab. And now Santana pressing the Jared Hurd. But Hurd flicks him off. I mean, not flicks him off, but kind of pushes him off. Santana's given a good account of himself. He even told Jared Hurd jokingly, he goes, hey, if you want to fight at 47, I'm okay with that too. <laughs> Just goes to show you that Santana is willing to fight 47, 54, whatever makes the most money for his family. He's a laborer by day, fighter by night. He said he wakes up at 4.30 in the morning to go run, then he'll go to work, come home, have a little dinner, go right to the gym, and he comes home sometimes at 8 o'clock and his kid's already asleep. He's missed a lot of time with this kid in his training camp, but Santana coming forward making this given good aggression towards Hurd, and that ends the second. Uppercut from Jared. Boom. Caught him right 
on the jump. Yikes. And we'll take a look at it again. And here's this. Boom. Ooh. That is a lethal right uppercut from Jared Hurd as we approach. Ron Vogt. Don't reach for it. Keep that head moving afterwards. When he's on the ropes, you're doing good work. Come on, Round get three, the this one is scheduled for 10. And I mean, Jared Hurd, he is a monster at one at this weight. It's a super welterweight matchup, but oh my. I can't believe he still makes this weight. I think it may be, I mean, who knows how long he could continue to do this. There's a right hand by Santana. Santana getting busy with his jab, but using his jab is heard. Probably stuck out five or six jabs in that sequence. mentioned that Jared Hurd relocated his training camp. Originally used to train at home. Mr. Ernesto Rodriguez, that has gone by the wayside. And instead, he has gone ahead. And he is now training in Colorado, the Olympic Training Center. Kay Karoma, his new trainer. Santana advancing forward. Uh, left hook for Santana, giving him some confidence. There's a left hook by Santana. Her dipping down, evading danger. Sticking the jab is Jared Hurd. Nice right hand by Hurd. There's a right for Hurd. There's a right uppercut by Jared Hurd. Certainly caught the attention of Santana. Under a minute left here in the third. Santana just based on that. He just looks so much smaller. And he's working hard, but Jared Hurd is just a behemoth in there. Hurd is getting himself re-acclimated to be in the ring, working on some things, good head movement, better defense. Here's a right hand connecting for Hurd. Santana continues to chase her around the ring. As the round draws to a close. Round four, this one is scheduled for 10. Jared Hurd in control against Francisco Santana here at Barclays Center. 
Jared Hurd using his jab once again. Now he's starting to showcase some of that hand speed as Santana aiming a pound away on Jared Hurd. Santana is one of those guys that, because of his experience, he's a difficult challenge for a young prospect. I'm not saying he's offering, not offering resistance here tonight, but when you're dealing with a guy who's so much bigger and stronger than you and has the skill level of Jared Hurd, I mean, it's awfully tough to beat, especially when the, the size difference is just so much. There's a nice, they both exchanged at that moment. 100 seconds left here in the fourth. A jam for Santana. Good left hook by Jared Hurd. Sticks that jab, does hurt. Jared Hurd with a nice left talk as Santana is absorbing those punches, but nothing to really, nothing that's been too damaging, I'd say, to Francisco Santana. Santana still in the fight, working hard. And Jared Hurd working on his fundamentals to try to acclimate himself to this newfound game plan by Kate Karoma, the assistant boxing coach for the U.S. Olympic team. Hurd beats you and wears you down based on his pressure. This cell, uh, well, there's some of that pressure. And Santana comes back, throwing punches. Heard largely blocking them, and that ends the fourth. round here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn round five this one's scheduled for 10 so this is the new Jared Hurd the I'm going to box stay on the outside I'll mix it up when I need to but man I would be remiss if I wouldn't say that I miss the action pack Jared Hurd it's better for his longevity it's better for his overall health but man Jared Hurd and he was coming forward and eating two or three shots to land a couple big shots. That was, that, I mean, Jared Hurd was truly an action fighter. He's adapting now with his boxing, but I'm very interested. Oh, there's a right hand that caught Francisco Santana. I'm curious to see if with this matchup, if Hurd, how he deals against a top tier contender. Couple right hands, big right hands that shook up Santana, another one. 
I mean, Santana can't get out of the way of those right hands for anything. Another one just pounding away his herd. And see, this is the herd when he's close distance, wears you down, he breaks you down physically, and that affects your mental game. But right now, Jared Hurd is just, he's in total control. I'm not saying he's in cruise control, but pretty close to that. I mean, you hear the shots of left hook that caught. Francisco Santana followed by a right uppercut. Oh, big right uppercut for Hurd. Now Hurd's starting to open up. Hurd thinks he has Santana Hurd sweeping left hook. Now Hurd is opening up. And Heard very well could finish Francisco Santana. It's looking that way, big stiff jab. Now we'll see if Heard goes back to old school Jared Heard and tries to finish him off. The thug that we're hearing at the broadcast position, you would hate to be absorbing that. Oh my. Santana, what a heavy, yeah, he's got a very durable and a strong head because, oh man, the kind of punches that Hurd's throwing at him would break most. 20 seconds left here in the fifth round. As Jared Hurd in control, big left hook followed by a right. Francisco Santana cannot absorb too much of this because it could be curtains for him. And that ends the fifth of very big round as we saw glimpses of the old Jared Hurd. Jared Hurd, eight of his last nine wins have come by stoppage. Great job by our staff to find that out. Where's the water? Give me water. Give me water. Give me water. Where's the water? Bill. Give me the water. Thank you. Take a look at some of this action and the Jared Hurd show in full effect. Look at this. Kind of doubling up and what do you want? What are you going to eat for dinner tonight? A right uppercut. Boom. Oof. That is vicious. And another one. Hey, you got to help me. Round six, this one is scheduled for 10. With the momentum that her displayed in the fifth, I'm curious to see if he goes back to that same ideology in this round. Doubling up on the jab, close distance. I think, personally, the Jared Hurd of old would have probably finished off Francisco Santana midway through the fourth, if not early part of the fifth. I could be wrong, though. I've been wrong before. But nonetheless, Jared Hurd with his new trainer, Kay Karoam, who is an assistant on the U.S. Olympic boxing team. And Ernesto Rodriguez, his trainer that Hurd had for 12 years, they decided to go in a different direction. And Hurd spent his, this training camp in Colorado Springs at the U.S. Olympic Training Facility. The minute has ticked off the clock in the sixth. Francisco Santana, though, he's still durable. He ate some shots in that fifth round, and he still is unrelenting. You have to give a tip of the cap to Francisco Santana, who realizes he is the smaller man. He's probably largely outgunned in many aspects. Left hook to the body by Jared Hurd. There's a right uppercut. Oh. 
Left hook by Santana. Jared Hurd still using his distance, but Santana coming forward. Hurd pops that jab. There's a left hook for Francisco Santana. And Santana wailing away on Jared Hurd. Santana bonding away on Jared Hurd. That ends the run. And coming up next, Ivan Redcatch with the biggest opportunity of his career, goes head to head. Against Danny Garcia. Notable trainers for Red Catch, Mario Morales, Robert Garcia, Jose Santa Cruz, Ramon Morales, Antonio Santa Cruz, Shane Mosley, and Jack Mosley. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trainers. Man, oh man. That is quite a number of different, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. With has a lot of uh, five of the seven are Mexican trainers, and then you have the Mosleys. And entering round seven, this one is scheduled for 10. So it's taken me a little while to process the new style of Jared Hurd, and I've come to this particular conclusion as Santana is trying to press Jared Hurd. It's almost like watching, uh, if you remember the, the actor Jackie Chan, who was an action movie star. It's like watching old Jackie Chan movies and then having Jackie Chan uh, into a, a high-level drama with no action where, and that, that's what it is to me, is that Jared Hurd was known as an action fighter. Come forward, eat a couple to deliver several. He was in war after war after war, and now, and I understand because it is preserving his overall health, his well-being, it's gonna prolong his career, much like how it would probably prolong an action movie actor his career if he decided to not go ahead and jump off buildings etc cetera, etc cetera, for our enjoyment so i get it do i necessarily like it no but hey look he's still a world-class fighter is jared hurt and we're at the midway point of round seven and hurt still in control against francisco santana but again how will this new style for Hurd adapt when things don't go well or when he does face a big puncher like the Jason Rosadias of the world? Maybe a rematch against Julian Williams. Who knows? You still got Jermel Charlo out there also. Super welterweight champion who won the title against Tony Harrison in their rematch. Under a minute left here in the seventh. Jared Hearn dealing with the peskiness of Francisco Santana. Couple left hooks by Jared Hearn. here at Barclays Center cascading some booze from what they were hoping for was the old Jared. There's a big right hand for Hurd. And Hurd as Santana lumbering. And that ends the round.
Coming up on round eight, this one is scheduled for 10. Jared Hurd sticks that champ. The eighth round scheduled for 10. Jared Hurd getting some work from Francisco Santana. That's exactly what he wanted to hear tonight. But it has been largely uneventful. Still, though, good to see Swift back in the ring. Former world champion. Coming up next, Danny Garcia. Ivan Redcatch. Expect action in that one. Hurt sticking out that jam. And Hurd. And the fans continue to get restless. 100 seconds left here in the eighth. There's a jab by Jared Hurd. 75 seconds left here in the eighth. Santana pressuring Hurd. Hurd evading most of it. Santana pounding away on Jared Hearn. Santana's working hard and is not making this an easy night, particularly for Jared Hearn. There's a left hook by Santana and Jared Hearn Going backwards. Final moments of this eighth round between Francisco Santana and Jared Hurd. And that ends the round. Coming up next, our main event. We're here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn for Danny Garcia, who's headlined here several times. Holds the largest attendance record for boxing here at Barclays Center. He matches up against Ivan Redcatch coming up next. This one is scheduled for 10. Jared Hurd boxing well, nice right uppercut. Now he's mixing it up, okay. Now Jared Hurd is going back to his old ways. 
He stepped into Francisco Santana. I honestly thought in the fourth and fifth round that Hurd was going to really open up and, and try to finish off Francisco Santana. And Santana is very tough and durable, and guy has the will of a warrior, strong champion, but still, it is all of them. Jared Hurd in control. But the camp of Francisco Santana should be very proud of what they're seeing out of the 33-year-old from Ventura, California. He's working hard, giving his best effort when he's clearly undersized and outmatched. There's a right uppercut, big shot there by Hurd, who stopped Santana in his tracks, midway point of the ninth. But man, does Francisco Santana have a strong skull. He's got a hard head. That was a big punch from Jared Hurd, and Hurd eats an overhand right. We are nearing the one-minute mark in the ninth. Heard winging shots. Skating from some of the locals here at Barclays Center. It has been a clinic for Jared Hurd, but Francisco Santana, make no mistake, he wants to win this fight. And round nine draws to a close. Francisco Santana right for his ringside here at Barclays Center. Jared Hurd with his new trainer, Kay Karoma, who has implored a strictly boxing mentality and not engage in as many toe to toe battles. But it is furthering and prolonging his career. From a longevity standpoint, and I'm, it's going to take some time for him to settle and, and adjust and, and learn how he can mix in some of those action parts that we all came to love from Jared Hurd. But Francisco Santana, again, I mean, this guy just is unrelenting. Coming forward, giving his best. You know, the guy's been down four times, twice to Kareem Mayfield, one to Kenneth Sims, and Montez and a minute 10 has come off the clock here in our 10th round. Right. 
Jared Hurd coming forward. Santana ties up with him. Right hand, Santana. Right uppercut on the inside. Hurd digging to the body. There's a right uppercut by Hurd. One of his signature punches that backs up Santana. Oh, big straight right by Hurd. Santana ate it well, though. A left hook upstairs by Hurd. 40 seconds remaining in the 10th and final round. There's a right hand by Jared Hurd. Final moments of this round. Jared Hurd now opening up, letting his hands go. Pounding away on Santana. Down goes Santana, finally. Francisco Santana. looked at it thought look good tonight but again against higher level opposition in the super all weight division how will he fare there is heard with his new team K Karoma and I thought he passed the test well, but again, against an undersized super welterweight. And taking a look at some of this action, this was the knocked on that big right uppercut that sent Santana to the canvas. in the 10th and final round. There's that big right uppercut. Santana didn't even see it coming. Jared Hurd, who fought, who fought very well. And I believe it will probably be a shutout across the board from the scorecard's perspective. And here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Jr. scores about 97 to 92. Judges Julie Letterman and Kevin Morgan both scored about 99 to 90. All three in favor of the winner, Swift Jarrett Hurd. So Jared Hurd picks up a win against Francisco Santana here this evening.
Jared, how would you assess? And there is Jim Gray with Jared. performance here this evening. Uh, I, I love it, man. You know, we came out here and did what we wanted to do. You know, first of all, I want to thank God, um, Al Hamm and everybody for the opportunity. And listen, the crowd don't like it, baby, but you got to understand. I got a unanimous decision tonight. I did what I wanted to do. And uh, when you say you did what you wanted to do, what did you want to do? It looked like you were trying for the knockout. You almost achieved it in that 10th round. But up until then, it looked like there was some frustration. Oh, it was definitely no frustration, man. We wanted to work behind the jab. We didn't want to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We didn't want to go to war. We just wanted to win the rounds and uh, 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 make sure we won unanimously. How difficult was it for you mentally to come back in this fight after what happened against Williams and put that behind you and then have some confidence to go out and, and perform in this? Oh, man, listen, that was the past. You know what I'm saying? We moved on from that fight. We just came out here. Um, we had a long layover. We came out here and got the job done. And what would you like to do going forward? Do you feel as though you want another fighter ready to get right back in and, and contend for that title? Oh, uh, we want the belts, man. We want the belts. We want the best. I'm not exactly we're sure what's going to be our next move because, you know, it was a big switch up of things. But we definitely want to get the belts and uh, uh, see what that's for. All right. Nice to see you. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate our fans and everything. Thank you, Swift Nation, for coming out, baby. I'm back. All right. Back to you, Moral. And as Jared Hurd comes back to the ring after relinquishing his title to Julian Williams last May, new trainer gets the victory. All about defense first. He improves his record of 24 and 1. So congratulations to Jared Hurd on the victory. So and let's take a look at how that fight played itself out. There was Francisco Santana, Jared Hurd with his new team. Santana came forward, threw a ton of punches, but Jared Hurd just had too many weapons. And in the 10th round, got a knockdown to seal the victory, not that he even needed it. There was the right uppercut that connected. And Jared Hurd, back in the mix at 154 from Akokeek, Maryland. Our main event is up next. The former welterweight champion of the world, Danny Swift Garcia, against Ivan Redcatch, an eliminator bout on the way here from Barclays.